Hi, my name is Arika Lewinsky, and I'm the product manager for the Progressive Delivery Group for the release stage at GitLab. Today, I want to walk through something that we just delivered in release 0.7 called Limit Pipeline Job Concurrency by Resource Group. So sometimes um, a user might want to limit the resources that can be deployed to at any given time, or even a job within a specific deployment so that there's no destructive activity done for that resource group. So a resource group can maybe be a, a physical device, a mobile phone or something similar that we can only allow one deployment to happen at any given time. So we introduced a new uh, format of called resource group that you define inside the GitLab CI YAML file and that will actively limit that job in the pipeline. So let's, let's get to it. So imagine I have a very, very simple pipeline, which only has two jobs, test and deploy. And we'll take a look at the GitLab CI YAML file and then add another job called deploy2, which will use the same resource group. And we will make sure that uh, only one of them can be deployed to at any given time. So for that, we're going to open the web IDE. And take a look at our YAML file. So we can see our two stages, test and deploy. Um, and each one of them um, does something. And that's what we saw in the pipeline. And now I want to add another deploy uh, job, which belongs to the same stage. But now I'm introducing this new name called resource group iOS, uh, resource group iOS. iOS is just here for the example for you to imagine it's deploying to a mobile phone, but it can be named anything that you want. You can also have multiple resource groups um, deploying to in a specific job. So if, for example, you have several phones, each one of them can be a separate resource group. So I'm gonna go ahead and commit um, this change to the GitLab CI YAML file and see what our pipeline looks like now. As we can see, the pipeline is running. Let's take a look at it. So now you can see we have a test uh, jo job and a deploy job, which is, uh, has the two different jobs inside in parallel, deploy one and deploy two. And you can see this new icon that tells you that it's waiting for a resource. So as long as the, the first deploy job is not finished, the second job will not run. Now the job has passed, and now the other job that was waiting for resource can now run. I can even try to retry the previous job, and we'll see that when I do that, now this job is waiting for a resource. And you saw that once this is complete, the other job is free to run. So this is how simple it is to define a resource group with, within your GitLab CI YAML file. We think this is going to be a very powerful feature and help you uh, with your future deployments. We would love to get your feedback and comments on this, as always, either on the issue with themselves or uh, by email telling me directly to ogolowinski at gitlab.com. Thank you.